Hey Joe fans, thanks for tuning in to Action Media Reviews. I have here in hand the brand new Croc Master. Yes, I actually got these from Amazon. I, When I initially ordered this figure, uh, I thought that it was an Amazon exclusive. Um, I kind of jumped the gun on ordering. And I should have ordered in uh, bulk for my distributor. But whatever. I got some of these from Amazon. I always order multiples because, well... When you order from Amazon, chances are you're going to get your boxes, your pack, your your figures thrown into a box with no packing material. They're going to bang around, get beat up, and I like to get one with a good box. And uh, this one is not the best, but uh, out of the ten I ordered from Amazon, I ended up getting uh, two that did not have some kind of damage. So the rest will be sold off to friends and whatnot. But uh, we're going to open this guy up and check him out. There's an interesting, to me at least, uh, I've always had an interest in Croc Master. I've always thought that was a really cool figure. Um, partly because of how I grew up. So when I was a kid, we had a lot of uh, exotic animals. And we had crocodiles and alligators at one point uh, we've had crocodiles alligators caimans um, all variety of reptiles so i always thought that it was kind of neat that they had a uh, a crocodile wrangler uh in the in the cobra team and this is a, a really cool looking figure uh, he has the croc skin and whatnot uh, as his armor his uh, his uniform costume if you will whatever but, uh, yeah, let's go ahead and get this guy opened up and check him out. The vest, I honestly would have expected the vest to be a, a secondary rubber piece on the torso, but it is not. This is actually a, a new torso that is molded like this. You have the, uh, the belly skin here for his chest and torso, and then you have the alligator or crocodile skin on the back, all the ridges, much like Fiona's back. Kind of a, an armor type vest, I would assume. These gauntlets actually come off, um, or arm braces. This one comes off, and so does this one. If you pop the hands off, this just slides off over the arm. The waist, I like the fact that they did a nod to the vintage figure with the, actually with the whole, uh, the whole package. But this is a piece that goes over, it's a, a rubber, uh, like a rubber sleeve for the waist, I think. These do come off if you completely break down the figure. But he has the holster here that's a separate piece. Uh, the knife sheath here that's also a separate piece that would come off if you wanted to uh, pop the foot off, which I'm not going to do. I'm not going to break this figure down or anything while we're, while we're looking at it. But interestingly enough, the respirator does not come off of his face, but this hose does pop out here and the O2 tank, I assume that's an O2 tank, is a, uh, a backpack piece. And I don't think that comes out. I think this is all, I think that's either glued in. Yeah, I'm not going to pull that apart. But yeah, this is a separate piece that just plugs into his back here and to the respirator there on his face. Now, before this figure came out, there was actually a 3D printed kit that you could purchase uh from a cup from an online uh, retailer from an e-tailer and you could use a gung-ho body uh, or a roadblock body to make your own croc master i was actually going to get one of those before this was announced but i wanted the official croc master very bulky figure um, as it's meant to be he's meant to be a big strong uh type of person I prefer the IDW comic book version uh, of this character just because it, it gives a little more in-depth backstory and whatnot than the, uh, than the original file card does. I think the original file card has him as a, um, a security professional that was exploring the use of crocodiles as uh, <laughs> some kind of security system. Uh, so let's take a look at the accessories that he comes with. You have the little baby Crocs. These are not articulated, but they do have um, some paint apps. They are colored. 
You have the albino here as well with its red eyes. I think that's a pretty cool little addition. You have the knife. And the fact that they uh, that they are putting paint apps on the weapons now uh, is a really nice addition. That was an issue I had early on in the series. Now this this is a uh, a pretty cool piece here. This is actually a pistol that's based on a real life gun. This is not a quote unquote blaster. Uh, I believe this is a uh, Chiapa or Chiapa Rhino, and. <laughs> Just I, I have a uh, I have another channel for firearms and whatnot, and I don't think that I've made a video with one of these, but I've actually shot one. The way that this gun functions in real life, typically uh, the barrel would be up here in this area, but they actually set the barrel down below the action, so you're firing out of the bottom cylinder, and that is a, uh, a recoil mitigation design. Basically, when you would fire uh, a regular revolver or any uh, pistol that has a high barrel axis, you're going to have what's called muzzle flip to some extent. But if you lower the barrel axis, that's greatly reduced because the recoil goes straight back into the, uh, the user's hand and arm. So just a little neat tidbit of information for some of you all out there. I know some of you all are into firearms, some of you are not. So you have the whip here. The whip is actually made out of a soft plastic material. It is flexible. I do like the fact that it's uh, made like this. You can kind of do some stuff with it, but um, you know, for posability and whatnot with the figure. But again, you have a paint app there on the handle. Another neat little, uh, uh, detail so you have the meat hook here and the meat hook is just solid silver it's uh, you know kind of a softer plastic as well and then finally you have the chain leash for fiona again with the paint apps there on the collar a nice detail touch so a friend of mine actually requested that um i put the accessories on the figure so the uh, the revolver fits right into his uh, gator or uh, croc skin holster. The knife fits right into the sheath. And specifically what he had asked me to do was fit the whip into the figure's hand. He and his son had some issues getting that done. Well, what I do when I'm putting accessories into the hands of these figures, the hands are a more pliable material. They're able, they have some flex to them, and I'm not going to do this a lot, but if you open that hand up just a little bit, it, the, fig, the fingers will go back and just kind of pop that right in there. And the fingers go back to the uh, original position. And if you wanted to, you could also heat that up just a little bit to make it more pliable, but... Here you go with the whip in the hand. If you were to use hot water on the fingers, on the hand, uh, you would be able to open that a little easier. It's not that it's hard, but you got to get a finger in there right under the, yeah, see, like that. And it just makes things a lot easier to get uh, accessories into the hands of the figure. One of my favorite parts of this set is Fiona herself. Now let's take a look at the articulation in her feet hand or her feet and legs. Check this out. Her uh, her feet are articulated on the legs, much in the same way that um, Timber is articulated. Uh, the mouth opens, and she's a very soft or a very soft plastic or a hard rubber. And very textured, very flexible, and has a really neat feel. The lower jaw is a harder plastic. Uh, let's see, the lower jaw and all the way back to here is a harder plastic. And they've done a really good job blending all of this because it gets soft kind of back here. But a lot of detail in the color and whatnot in the mouth and in the molding of the mouth. I dig that a lot. I think it's really cool. And... 
her eyes are painted. I, I love that. I think that it's a fantastic looking piece. Uh, this torso section here is a harder plastic. You have the same articulation in the feet and legs uh, in the rear. Now this I thought was interesting. There is what appears to be a panel on her belly, but this panel is sealed shut. I'm not really sure exactly why they would have done this. I haven't tried to cut it open or anything like that, but you can see if I can get it to glisten here, there's like a little bit of a, I don't know. I don't want to call it glue, but so it's solid here. It appears it's almost like it's uh, sonic welded or melted, but here you've got a little bit of a crack and you've got this seam all the way around. And if we push on that belly, you can see where that, you know, it's kind of cracked open, but it's also sealed around through here. I'm not going to try to open it up. Uh, this one is actually going to a friend of mine, so I, I don't want to mess with this. He can if he wants to. Um, it does appear as though this is just a single panel that would come all the way off if you were to really put the effort into it. I would kind of like to see what's inside of her belly, but at the same time, it's not a big deal. It it's also There's also the possibility that uh, considering that this part of the body is a, a harder material and they wanted to give her a soft belly this was the way to do it because she does have a soft belly as you can see it just kind of pushes in there and it's a harder plastic back here the tail i'm sure that most of you are familiar with uh action figures that have a they're, they're a rubber material with a wire inside of them the wire goes back to about here and the tail is bendable and it will retain some of that shape and you can pull the tail right off as well it's just a, a rubber material now let's take a look at the collar let's put the collar on well the collar doesn't seem to want to easily go all the way back so if the head being a softer material, if the head is anything like the tail, it should just pop off there. And it does. Cool. Actually, this piece here would probably pop off as well. Yep. There we go. And the tail. <laughs> here's the here's the crocodile. All the way broken down. You can see that that body is actually kind of hollow inside. That's pretty cool. Yeah. I mean, it, from this... As well as looking inside here, the body seems to uh, have a cavity. It's interesting. And this is also another joint uh, here. Let's go ahead and pop this back together. Make sure it's not going to... There we go. Make sure that's not going to come apart. So, in the photos that I've seen of this the collar would basically kind of set right here and it looks like the head will pop right back on or it should let's see is that how it goes or is it like this yeah it looks like it's going to go this way so let's put this kind of here i'm going to do this off camera so that i'm not reaching around everything Well, the, uh, the leash actually kind of popped off there. Uh, I don't think that was supposed to happen. Yeah, that <laughs> that's glue. That's not one molded piece, guys. That's two molded pieces. So, we'll, uh, it's supposed to go like this. It's a keyed hole and kind of pops in there. It only goes in there one way. But here we, we do have the collar on Fiona. Let me get her tail back on. So I'm quit bumping the camera. So, but anyway, this is, uh, this is how this goes. I'll have to put that section of leash back on there. Give it a little dot of glue to hold and uh, get it fixed right back up. 
so yeah that's that's the figure with the just popping the head off to fit the collar back here where it should go i think it'd be a little better if this collar was a more pliable material uh, a more flexible rubber because you don't have that that articulation here so much now with the collar back there in place so i'm gonna go ahead and pop the head back off to get the collar out and see now you have that full articulation here so where i broke this i just added a dot of uh gorilla super gel and here we go it's uh, better than new this is not going to pop off and i really think that what happened here it just didn't have enough glue in the uh in the socket it looked like it barely had any so that's something that you might want to watch out for with your uh with your croc master leash here and again this is keyed it will only fit into the socket one way uh if you have this happen just add a dot of uh gorilla super gel or any other type of uh, super glue that will work for plastics and rubbers so but yeah this is actually together stronger than what it was originally and is not going to come back apart thanks for joining in the unboxing of this croc master figure these were originally supposed to come out in april and got delayed into into uh september and then ended up being delivered in late june early july i don't remember exactly when these shipped out from amazon uh everyone knows that we have a lot of delays and issues right now with uh, with shipping and distribution and whatnot i think that a lot of this stuff is actually setting right here in the united states in containers at a port waiting to be unloaded waiting to be shipped out uh the port situation is not really getting any better at least not making any tremendous improvements uh you can see that in your day-to-day -day life if you are buying anything other than toys. Uh, there's, like if you need parts for something, uh, an electronic device or whatever, uh, I've had trouble getting anything from a, a bulb for a microwave to um, a new plug-in for uh, another electric device. And just, uh, it, it's, it's anything and everything. And it just depends also where it's coming from out of China, out of Asia. I do believe these are manufactured in uh china yeah made in china so depending on the region where these are manufactured uh they may still be operating on a limited capacity in their factories they may still be operating at a limited capacity at their ports as well shipping out products and sometimes uh different items get prioritized over luxury items like toys uh, especially when companies are paying more to have their products shipped out first or companies are paying more to have their products unloaded first when they get here that is a thing that happens and yes there are companies that are willing to do that uh, i have been told that disney is one of those companies that is willing to do that hasbro may not be so just take into consideration that there's a lot more factors uh to the shipping and uh, distribution problem than just uh, they suck at getting toys out and you know it's it <laughs> there's nothing that you and i can do about it uh, except hurry up and wait but anyway be sure to hit the subscribe button and the notification bell comment like share with your friends uh check out the description of the video for links to different facebook groups links to my ebay store and uh, you'll see some stuff there maybe you'll like. Uh, anyway, I have uh, several more videos that I got to try and cram in this morning. So I will see you soon. Yo, Joe.